from Philadelphia, and we begin with Pope Francis's final night in America. And if you look over my shoulder, you can see the extraordinary crowd that gathered here in Philly. The aerial images coming in now. His open air mass underway and nearing an end. Hundreds of thousands on hand for the Pope's message to families everywhere. And it comes after an emotional weekend here in Philadelphia. In fact, a short time after the Holy Father touched down, he suddenly stopped his driver, emerged from his compact car to bless a disabled boy, the mother's, the boy's mother in tears, as you can see. And on this Sunday, meeting privately with victims of sexual abuse, making a solemn promise to survivors, vowing to hold those responsible accountable, saying, quote, God weeps. Then this powerful image, the Pope blessing prisoners, telling them all of us have something we need to be cleansed of. We do have team coverage again tonight, beginning with our chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran, traveling with the Pope. He made his way through the streets of Philadelphia. The crowds thrilled, but smaller than expected. Smothering security shut this city down. But this was the main event for Francis, the families so close to his heart. El amor se manifiesta en Love is shown by little things, he told them, like a hug or a warm supper. Before arriving at Mass, Pope Francis met privately with sex abuse victims, saying he was overwhelmed by shame and promising justice. He is holding everyone accountable, and he said in no uncertain terms, this is what I commit to do. Earlier, the Pope helicoptered just 10 miles north, but into another world on a mission of mercy. Inside Philadelphia's largest prison, his simple white cassock, a stark contrast in those drab surroundings, Francis spoke to about 100 inmates. They listened, some casually, others intently, one in tears to this visitor from so far away. This time in your life can only have one purpose, to give you a hand getting back on the right road, he said. All of us are part of that effort. Francis shook hands with everyone and received a bear hug from one man, blessing him in return. Since the moment Francis landed in Philadelphia, the band playing the theme from Rocky, extraordinary scenes at the airport, waving out the open window, he sees someone, stops the car, walks over to 10-year-old Michael Keating, a boy living with disabilities. A kiss, a papal blessing, his mother overcome. At Independence Hall, before a crowd filled with immigrants, this son of immigrants declared his solidarity with them all. And then a prayer vigil last night where Aretha Franklin sang and Francis offered a little advice on family life. And sometimes plates can fly. And children bring um, headaches. No, we hablar de la suegra. <laughs> I won't speak about mother-in-laws. That's classic Pope Francis, a pope who's full of surprises and who clearly wants to shake things up in his church, in the United States, and around the world. David?